Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this quick Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this repeater text effect. So the first thing we want to do is grab our text tool, choose whatever font and style you want. This is going to work better with, I guess, blockier type of fonts or fonts with an even straight line or edges. And we're going to type out our original word on whatever canvas you're working on. And in order to create the repeated edges, we're simply going to duplicate this layer. So I'll press Command J, that's the shortcut to just duplicate this layer. Or you can right click, duplicate it however you want. And on the copy, you're just going to move the copy down just enough so that you separate the lower edge of your, of your photo. You don't want to go too far, just to like maybe 25% of the original text. Now, in order to get a nice separation between this, what we're going to want to do is grab our rectangular marquee tool. And I'm simply going to see that edge where the original layer is and I don't want to get right up on it I want to create a little bit of separation as well so I'm looking at the letter R and I see where I'm creating a little bit of extra boundary and once I have the selection over all of that text I'm going to go to layer layer mask hide selection now what we're going to do is simply duplicate this layer masked out repetition and then move that a couple times maybe twice or three times, whatever you want. And as a little bonus, if you want to add a little bit of flair, you can perhaps press Command T to free transform your selection or go to edit, free transform. And then I'm just gonna hold Shift and Alt and maybe scale it in a little bit if you wanna create like a slight difference in the size and scale of the, the three different repetitions. And I'm just using my move tool and the arrow and shift keys on my keyboard to just visually get that spacing back together. If, if I do happen to free transform the text and make certain parts smaller. But lastly, to create that nice fade on this, we're just going to lower the opacity of each layer to different amounts. So for this last one, I could do like 10% and then the middle one, I could do like 20 something percent. And then the first repetition, I could do like 50% whatever visually looks good to you. And then we get this gradual fade from faded all the way to the original text. Additionally, you could also grab your brush tool, just using a soft round brush on black. You could make sure you have your layer mask highlighted and just adjust the brush size based on your text size. And you could go and brush a fade instead of uh, just a solid opacity change. If you want to do more like a faded edge like that and that's just a, a stylistic choice if you want or you can shift select all the layers together put them inside of a group together press command g to put them all inside of a group together and then right click and go to blending options and you could add different color overlays or blending styles on the text to just adjust all of the layers at once so if you enjoyed this video, definitely check out some of my other Photoshop tutorials and text effects on my channel. Subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.